Algebra 2 Cram, New York State Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Basic Graphs of Trigonometric Functions, Range of Sine X. To order this complete cram session, inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com. If this isn't the subject area you're looking for, no sweat. Just inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com for pricing and ordering instructions for personalized packages. Be sure to spread the word to your friends and classmates who also need to cram. Let's delve into the concept of the range of sine x. Range of sine x. Now, before we get into the actual question, we're going to review what the sine of a specific angle x is. And in our example, we're going to say uh, theta instead of x because we don't want to double up on variables since the uh, x-axis value is represented by x as well. Okay, so for this particular acute angle that is in standard position, and when I say standard position, I mean that the initial side of the angle is on the positive x-axis and the terminal side uh, intersects with the origin and forms a ray out in quadrant one, okay? So that's this is what standard position looks like. So our reference angle theta has a sine value of y over r, basically the y-coordinate, the value of the coordinate, divided by the magnitude of the distance of this hypotenuse, or the longest side, or the ray. There are various names for the longest side of the triangle, okay, opposite the right angle in a right triangle. So this is what the sine of theta is. You can also have signs for triangles that are not right triangles, but this is just a very basic example. So now let's delve into the actual question. What is the range of the function y equals sine x? I'll give you a moment to think. Definitely press pause if you need to draw out a graph and fully explain your reasoning. All right, so hopefully by now you were able to arrive at an answer, and if not, that's completely fine. Here goes the graph of the y, um, y equals sine x. We see um, that it's implied that the domain, when I say domain, all the independent variables or the x values are going to be like, it's going to be all real numbers. Any number you can find on the x-axis in both the positive infinity direction and the negative infinity direction. Now, what I want you to recall is that the range is a set of all possible value, <laughs> values for the dependent variable, usually called y, on this vertical axis. And from a simple um, visual in inspection of the graph, we can determine uh, where y exists. And that's obviously going to be between negative 1 and 1, OK? Minimum of negative 1 and a maximum of positive one. So this is what it appears to be upon visual inspection. Here we go. One maximum, one maximum, one negative one minimum, negative one minimum. So we're going to say that um, negative one is less than or equivalent to y, which is less than or equivalent to one. This is the mathematical way of saying that y falls between uh, and it can include negative one as well as one. Okay. All right, so thanks for tuning in and be sure to order the complete cram session because honestly, most people will never do what you tell them to do. The odds of someone listening to me is pretty slim to none, but I guarantee that if you do listen and you do the entire cram session, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. All right.